It's your pop boy. It's 2K19. Well, actually, it's a prelude, but I, I don't care. I'm still having trouble containing myself. But I'm so excited for this year. I hope you guys are too. And we're just we're just gonna make the game better. It's flat out. That's what we're here to do. So at any point this year, if you guys have any questions, ideas, things you'd like me to test, any problems you run into, something you're wondering about, ideas, whatever, just hit me up in the comments or even on Twitter and I'll do everything I can for y'all. That's why I'm here. As you can see, I'm already up in the 2KU uh, try <laughs> trying to test some things, although it's kind of annoying with all the stupid interruptions, but whatever so I've just been looking for basically anything that's changed anything new all right there's different animations different things you can do and I'm here to bring you all the highlights all right so we're just gonna start under shooting here the first thing that I noticed is that you can now do cradle layups on demand this year and it tells you how to do it here but to simplify it uh, basically just while you're driving you're gonna hold your R stick towards your ball hand or you're gonna double tap square while holding the L stick towards your ball hand so I think the top one is easier. I'd start with that. New in 2K19, you can now do this signature size up combo, or what used to be called a rhythm dribble. You can now do it while standing or moving. And I thought that was kind of weird. I mean, what if you're sprinting down the floor or something, then you can just bust out this size up combo? That doesn't seem like it'd work well. So of course I had to test it out. Um, just sometimes if you're moving at the wrong angle or you're moving too fast, he'll hit you with that little step back. Like right here, it's just gonna step back step back when I'm flicking it forward but if I kind of slow it down make it a little more controlled or kind of come forward a little bit then he'll do it right below it you see the signature size up chains okay whereas last year you do a between the legs size up or a behind the back size up and it's kind of its own move and you couldn't really combine those two in succession very smoothly and easily well this year you can you just do one after another it'll chain them together better the hesitation escape is still the same you can see here now the rest of the escape moves those actually have to be chained chained together this year. You actually have to do the crossover and then quickly after that hit for him to do the hesitation move. So they've changed how you go between the legs. So you're no longer going to be flicking your R stick diagonally. That's gone. So what you're going to do to go between the legs this year, basically you're doing a crossover while holding R2. Next things here guys, triple threat moves. So this year we got triple threat hesitation, triple threat step back. Okay, and for the hesitation, you're just going to hold your right trigger and then flick the R stick in the direction you want to go. And then same concept, triple threat step back, hold your right trigger and flick that R stick down. All right. And the triple threat size up, I knew these were coming this year. So we'll have the regular size up packages and the triple threat size up packages this year that you can purchase and equip for your player. I mean, yeah, of course, every time they find something new to charge VC for, the light inside my soul kind of dims just a little bit. But whatever, I mean, at least if they're going to do it, make it something sweet like this. And this year you can hold off trailing defenders uh, by holding L2. So you're just kind of using your body to shield the defender. Oh yeah, and check this out guys. This is one of my favorites. They now have this hard stop function. So if you tap L2 while you're driving, it's going to make you come to a quick stop. So you could try to stop on a dime, see if you can get some space to pull up, or you use it kind of like a hesitation, little stop and go, blow by. This is dope. I, I had a small orgasm when I saw this, actually. All right, so moving on to defense. They got this little fast shuffle here. Check out the demonstration there in the top right. It looks pretty realistic, just sitting down in the chair, getting a good defensive stance, moving your feet. Okay, and then we come down here to shot contest. So there's no more auto contest by holding intense D. You have to time it up yourself and do it yourself. And actually this year they have a vertical contest as well, where you're going to hold the L stick away from the shooter and press triangle. So then he'll just go straight up, verticality. All right, so this is good if you want to get a good contest on the shot the best you can. Can, but not risk fouling him and this year they have a new control for on ball steals I'm um, just gonna flick that R stick down so I'm not sure if this way using the R stick is more effective than doing it the traditional way pressing square I'm also not sure if one has a higher risk for reach in fouls so that's something I'm gonna want to test and if I find there's any difference you know I'll have that upload out for you guys all right so next oh yeah you, you, you could chuck people this year they have a chuck control this year you just tap circle when you're near the ball handler and actually they have the chuck and off ball defense too you're just gonna need to hold the L stick towards the offensive player you're trying to chuck and tap circle 
And they actually have a few functions like this in off-ball defense this year. You see they have the bump, you're just going to hold L2. Then they also have the grab, where you're just going to tap circle and hold your L stick towards the player you want to grab while you're running. And I'm not sure what kind of foul risk comes along with these three animations. I mean, you would think there would be some. That's probably something I'll be testing for as well. And speaking of fouls, they actually have a hack a shack function this year, where you can do an off ball foul on purpose. And this year, 2K really stepped up their step back game in the post. Check this out, they got the spin or drive step back. So if you're in the post and you start to drive baseline or start to drive middle, and then you just release the R stick really quickly, it'll have them kind of step back like this. It's pretty sweet. I like that animation. They also got these other two here. They look very similar to me, same sort of effect. But I like with these three, you can step back and get some separation and keep your dribble. So that's what's up, man. I'm gonna have to mess around with those. So look out for some post tips, some post move uploads this year. And another new thing with the post play this year, they have this avoid steal function here. And while you got the ball, you're just going to flick your R stick down and he'll kind of hold the ball up, get his elbows out there to avoid the steal. So if you got somebody digging on you, or if you're getting doubled and you need to buy some time for a sec to see where you want to pass out of it. They also added for the post, this is kind of cool, they got like a little post pump fake this year. So you just flick R in any direction, whichever direction you want to fake. I wonder if defenders will actually jump for that. I don't know, I might have to test that. And one thing I'm happy about that seems to be a lot better in the little testing I've done so far, the off the ball battles in the post uh, seem to be a lot better this year. Alright, so either the offensive player or the defensive player can move R in any direction to try to do a post transition, and then the opposing player can fight for position by moving R up or down and timing it upright when his opponent tries to make that move. So it's a lot more like move counter counter move, um, there's actually timing and strategy to it, just a lot more intuitive controls. And one thing I'm thinking about that I don't see here that I know is going to be in the game is the new rebounding controls. Now you can do like swim moves and stuff like that to try to battle for rebounding position. So I know they exist, but I don't see them anywhere here. 2K, I, I, you may want to put those in here, but I might have to test those out too. Alright, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I think we covered it all. So go ahead and hit me with a like if you found this helpful, if you enjoyed the vid. I'd appreciate it. It's just going to help the channel grow and I can test more and do more, find out more to improve the game. Speaking of which, I feel like I have a list of things that I want to test a mile long. So I'm going to head out for now. I'm going to dive back into the lab. But I'll be back soon with the next upload and that will actually be the things that I think everybody should know before they build their player. So I've been putting together information for that for a while. So I'll have that out real soon. So if you haven't already, now will be a good time to subscribe. Okay, because then you can hit your notifications notifications on and you'll get an alert right when that upload comes out you know hit me up if you guys need anything in the meantime i hope to see all you guys next time and all year long on 2k with the pop boy